Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this video at. This video is all about how waking up at 5 a.m. has changed my life. So this video is a little bit something different than I normally do on this channel, but it actually ties into everything that I do. And I think there's some information in this video that I think you guys can greatly benefit from. So we're talking about waking up early. I know a lot of you absolutely despise waking up early. Like if you saw that alarm blinking or flashing or going off at 5 a.m., you'd be like, this is the death of me. Like I, I can't believe I have to get up at 5 a.m. You gotta like shift your mindset when it comes to waking up early. There are some people that are night owls or people that work till three, four in the morning. Personally for me, I hit a wall and I get so bogged down and I'm actually not doing anything effectively. I used to stay up all night with my brother. When we lived together years ago, we would work till two, three, four in the morning. But like that just doesn't work for me. And I've switched the way I do things to waking up early. So recently I started getting up even earlier than I typically do. I've been getting up at five, six o'clock. Five o'clock is obviously the goal, but you know, just getting yourself up at like five or six makes a huge difference in your entire day. It makes a difference in how you approach your work. But generally, I just wanna wake myself up early, earlier than I normally do. And the reason is that I use that time for myself in the morning. So if I'm getting up at five, I'm not looking at my phone and I'm not checking emails. I'm not looking at social media. I'm not doing anything that is involved with the outside world until later in the morning, like seven or eight o'clock. If you get yourself up early and just take some time for yourself, it actually sets you up to have a much more effective day and it gives you a lot more clarity. I was having an issue where I was just working 14 hour days, just crushing it, just doing everything that I thought I had to do to get the work done. But what happens is when you get yourself in that kind of rhythm of always working and always thinking about your clients or your YouTube or anything that you're doing in life, you end up being less effective and you actually get a lot less done than you typically would. So what I do is I get up in the morning and I get coffee, a little coffee right here, my second coffee of the day. But I get up, I have coffee and I just move. And by moving, it could be as simple as a walk. So I will have my coffee, I don't check my phone, I just grab it, I go out the door and I'll go walk a few blocks and just kind of go around the neighborhood. Now more recently, I've gotten back into training for climbing again because I got a big climb coming up in a few months. So I'm getting up early and I'm going either to the gym or I'm going on a trail run. But honestly, it's just getting yourself moving and getting yourself out of that rhythm of getting up in the morning, going straight to the computer or straight to the phone and just putting yourself into the rest of the world. And that's one of the issues is when we're always focused on these external things going on, you never have time to really think about things that you need to think about. And I'm not talking like super deep down like making life-changing decisions, but what I'm talking about is just taking some time for yourself and just getting some mental clarity. So there's a lot of ways that you can do this in the morning. Like I said, for me personally, I like to move. I like to either walk, I love hiking in the morning, or doing like a trail run, getting myself in nature, just getting away from the city. Or if the weather's not very good, I'll go to the gym or just kind of get myself into that moving rhythm. For other people, doing something like a short meditation or like yoga practice or something like that would be super beneficial. The other thing that I do is I sit down when I get home from whatever it is that I'm doing and I read a chapter of the book called Called the Daily Stoic. And the reason for this is it's short, it's sweet. I highly suggest this book for anyone that just wants to get some more clarity on what it is that they're doing. But this book basically gives you one thought and it gives you some time to think about it. So it takes like a minute or two to actually read the paragraph and then you sit down and just kind of have a conversation in your head about how you're going to approach the world for the day or what you're gonna do. Now, when you push yourself to get up early and take that break away from the world and get yourself going, what happens is you end up having a different approach in the way that you go about your day. Your general everyday work is just not as stressful. It just seems like things are fluid and they're moving. And even if you have a super challenging day, when you start off right, when you start off with a little bit of clarity, you actually get through it a lot easier. For me personally, I not only am running the whole YouTube, this is what you guys see, but I have a production company that I'm running on the other side of the camera and I'm working and I could be working from 6 a.m. till midnight every day if I wanted to just because there's always something to be done. There's always more to do. And that's just the way that things are, but you just can't, you can't get in that mindset of just always working. You gotta hustle, but you gotta give yourself that time to step back and get that clarity. And what happens is things will pop up into your mind when you're taking this time for yourself that you have been forgetting about or that you just need to 
engage in a different way. One of the other tools that I use is this app called Things. It's on your phone, it's on your computer, but what it is is just kind of like a note-taking application, but it's one of those things that I use whenever I have a thought in my head, I just write it in there right away, so that later when I'm actually sitting down at my desk and getting ready to work, it pops up on my computer, and I can go through those notes that I wrote to myself and I actually don't forget all the different things that popped into my head. So if I'm out like doing like a trail run, I might have something just bing pop up that I'm like, oh, I've been forgetting to do this or I need to do this in a different way. Or I found clarity on something specific and I'm like, that is exactly what I needed to make this project work. And then so I'll write it in my phone using things It auto syncs to my computer. And then when I get home later and I'm actually sitting down and working and I can approach that topic and make it happen or get it done. But I highly suggest just trying to wake up maybe a half hour early or even an hour earlier than you typically do. So if you're waking up at seven, wake up at six and give yourself some time and just see what happens. Yes, you're gonna have to put yourself to bed earlier so you're not always tired, but usually most of us are spending our evenings watching TV, drinking some wine, drinking a beer, but one of the things you need to do is cut that short a little bit. Maybe not watch the extra hour of TV, maybe not have that extra beer and put yourself to sleep earlier so you can get up and have a little bit of time for yourself in the morning. And eventually you can work yourself up to getting yourself up even earlier, like 5 a.m., where you're up at this hour that there you're that there's not a ton of distractions. There's not people emailing you. There's not people getting a hold of you. It's basically time for yourself. So by the time it comes around when everyone else is waking up, you're ready to go and you're fired up and you got everything that you need to have an awesome, super effective day, whatever it is that you're doing. All right, guys, that's it. Like I said, on this channel, I do a lot of filmmaking tutorials. So if you're into filmmaking, photography, just anything creative like YouTube stuff, I highly suggest hitting that subscribe button. There's a lot of awesome content on this channel. Also, just anything travel and adventure, there's some cool videos that you guys are not gonna wanna miss. Guys, that's it. I will see you on the next one.